I know you've been wondering how can I make my Cubase like this guy's Cubase. We're gonna turn your Cubase into a dark mode. But first, remember if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing, you know the drill. Hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss any other video from us. Just do it! Step one is going to Cubase preferences. Easy enough, then you go to user interface and then you select color schemes. First, let me show you how Cubase looks by default. Yikes. I'm gonna change all of this and I'm gonna teach you how to do it really quick, guys, because I don't want your Cubase to look like this. So let's go back to Cubase preferences and back to color schemes under user interface. And we're gonna select this one, project area background. This is the key. Click here and then you're gonna select your new color. How easy is that? You tell me. But this looks something like this. This is already looking a lot better. So let's keep going. Go ahead and click on cycle regions and do the same. Just pick a color that you like, dark color of your choosing, and then do the same for the grid lines. Here on the grid lines, you're actually going to go a little bit lighter because you want those lines to still be visible enough. You're going to repeat the same steps for the editor area background. You're going to pick a dark color and that area is this one that you can see right here. If you want to go with a lighter color, you can do that. Again, this is up to you. That's another choice that you can make. For right now, I'm going to default back to the color that I choose at the beginning. So I'm going to keep that. The other two things I like to change is the ruler background and the inactive cycle. So you can change those as well. Here's another thing that you can change under metering, click on appearance and you're going to be able to change the appearance of your meters. For me, I choose that kind of synth wave color scheme. Here's how mine looks. There's really a lot of things that you can change the colors to, including the MIDI, audio instrument, sampler, group, effect tracks, you name it. Uh, Cubase has that flexibility, but the last step to make this a full on dark mode, it's going to track and mix console channel colors to color strength. And that thing is going completely to the left. And that is going to give you the final touch on this dark mode. And this is how it looks, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial today. And quick question for you. Do you really enjoy a dark mode or do you want to see a lighter mode as well? And I'll be answering to every single one of you. And until the next one, guys, don't stress, do your best, be blessed, forget the rest. Remember to subscribe and see you in the next one.